Ah, my name is Jonathan Cheney. You may know me from such documentaries as Fat People. Why? UFOs, they are out there. And cornfields, never run backwards to that. But I'm going to take you on a different adventure this time. An adventure following someone who I saw on the TV about two years ago. And he captured my imagination forever. This is Nature Nigel. World-renowned naturologist, studier of animals, and nature. You all may know Nature Nigel from his hit TV show for kids on the Mammal Channel, The Nature Nigel Experience, but I really wanted to get to know him. You know, see what makes him tick. And I got that. Alright, Nature Nigel. Um, I guess we'll start off. When did you start the whole nature thing? You know, that's a very good question, John. Uh, you know, most naturologists say they, they'd started, you know, maybe at age 11 or 12, give or take, you know. But me, I'd say I started clearly the moment I came out of my mother's room. I mean, my mother, she was a hippie, and, uh, you know, she didn't have a home, so I was born in a park bench. And, uh, my, uh, birth father kind of was, uh, you know, looking for something and I kind of fell off the bench and landed in the grass and you know there was nature everywhere and I just got hooked on it it was either that or the uh, peyote but anyway um right um so what do you think is the best part of your job uh probably being able to travel everywhere I mean I remember this one time in Tijuana I mean these girls, uh, well, I guess you can call them prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is, uh, you know, for kids. I mean, the kids, I mean, where would my life be without their little smiling faces looking at me every night with respect and love for me? I mean, not like that. I mean, you know, how they, uh, respect me as a TV show host. Nature, I saw you giving me... <sighs> Oh my god, I knew it, you guys! Oh my god! Oh my god, I love it! I love Major Nigel, and I'll tell it to anyone, 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 all, a anyone! Oh my god, like, this shirt, I, I got from the fan site, the hat, the, everything. You don't know that. You don't know that. I didn't see that. No, 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 you treat all of them with respect, and, right? Yeah, I feel, I feel that I have a, an equal amount of compassion and respect for every animal and organism in the world. Alright, um, so, would you think, would you think that you're, one of, you know, one of the tough ones out there? Uh, actually, I'd say I was one of the toughest people out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there tougher than me in some ways, but uh, I'd say I'm in the top two. I got a splinter! Right, um, so, uh, back, back on the animals thing. So, if you, if you love them all, uh, are there any that you're afraid of at all? Giant squid. Really? Just giant squid? What do you mean, really? Just giant squid? Have you ever seen one of those things? They're huge! And they got sharp beaks and crazy tentacles! Uh, I mean, okay, okay, I mean, who's afraid of a lion or a tiger or a T-Rex for that matter? I mean, just picture this, okay? Work with me now. You know, you're out on a fishing trip with a bunch of your buddies and you're going to a place where somebody thinks that there's a bunch of merlins. And you go over a bunch of choppy waves and your fishing pole falls in the water. And you got to go after it so you don't lose it. So, you know, you're swimming, you're swimming, you're just about to get to the fishing pole. And out of nowhere, whoosh, a big old squid just grabs you and bites your knee off and tears your ear off. And next thing you know, you're, you're shredded up into a thousand little pieces and adjusted into nothing. I, uh, I guess I never looked at it that way. No one does. That's why they're so scary. But anyway... We 
even had the privilege of filming one of Nature Nigel's sweepstakes where he had a fan come down and be on the show for a day. Okay, we're calling him now. Is this Jake Cobblestone? Uh, yes, it is. Well, son, this is Nature Nigel, and I'm happy to say you've won the sweepstakes to come on my show. Uh, that, that, that's fine. Did, did he just hang up? Uh, there, there must have been something wrong with the connection. I'll, I'll just call him back. Nigel, and I'm here with Jake Cobblestone, our winner of the Sweet Six to be on my show today. How are you today, Jake? What? Fine. Uh, what the people at home here? <laughs> well, today we're going to be looking at reptiles as a part of our snake week here on the Animal Show. Snakes! Yes! You like snakes? I love snakes. Really? Yes, yeah, you like them, don't you, too? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I like snakes. All right, let's go with the snakes. Snakes. Like episode like 24 or something, we were talking about rocks. It was awesome, okay? I remember saying, you saying something about like, there were three types of rocks, right? My, okay, okay. There were small ones, medium ones, and big ones. That's a big one! Alright, yeah! Awesome. Alright, now I'm gonna see if a snake is under this big rock right here. Uh, now, I go in the weight room almost every day just to be able to have optimum strength levels. Alright? So let's uh, see if this rock. Okay. Well, that just about wraps up our show today. It's been a great pleasure to be with Jake Cobblestone, our sweepstakes winner, and coming on my show. you have any last words to say, Jake, before we sign I off? Just, uh, I just want to say I love you. I mean, I love you, pants. I love, I love how you got this going on and your dog tags and your, and your hat and your hair. I just love your hair. next week for our exciting adventure of seals. Are they just wet dogs? This is Nature Nigel, signing out. So the show's for kids. Well, I guess my final question would be, do you have any words of advice for them? You know, if I had to give words of advice to the kids that watch my show, uh, you know, first, you know, stay in school, don't smoke the dope, and uh, stay away from giant well, there you have it, the real Nature Nigel. I set out to find him, and I did. Well, everyone, I guess you just have to remember, where there's nature, there's Nigel.